Hello everyone and welcome back to day eight of Ragmas. So this is my version of Vlogmas. Uh, my name is Reagan. My birthday is December 27th. This is my birth month. People do Vlogmas, I do Ragmas. It actually started as an inside joke between my cousin and myself because his birthday is the 29th. So we would have Ragmas Eve, Ragmas, which is my birthday, like Ragmas Eve is December 26th, then Reagan Boxing Day. But Reagan Boxing Day is on Palmas Eve. And then we have Palmas and Palmas Boxing Day. So again, cousin thing totally, but that's where that came from. So I have been doing a video every day about something clean beauty related, whether it be like a review, a reaction, all of that. So if you're into that, subscribe down below. And today I'm actually really excited to do this. I was looking at Harper's Bazaar's website and I was looking at all their clean beauty articles and they had the best organic natural and non-toxic makeup. And I will say, this is a little bit of an old article. It's like a year and a half old, but a lot of the products are still really relevant. And one thing I was impressed with is they didn't just include like the big name brands, like they included actually good product that maybe is like a little bit under the radar. And that's what I feel like Clean Beauty is. It's become a little bit more household with Clean at Sephora and all of that, but a lot of these brands are like smaller indie brands and it's nice to see like Fit Glow get a moment in like a big publication like this and Carrie Gron and stuff like that. Like yes, these are like bigger in a way in our clean beauty world, but they're still like in the grand scheme of makeup, like not as hyped up as like Westman Atelier or something. So I was really excited to see those brands in it. Uh, I'm doing today a full face with you all of the brands that they had like mentioned in this. I just want to say yes I'm wearing the same sweatshirt I was wearing yesterday. Yes my hair looks awful. Doing the video a day like it's been fun but it's been a lot of work so I don't always have time to like get totally ready but I still thought this would be fun. Like I heard <laughs> Bailey uh, Sarian say this video isn't necessarily about uh, the hair, it's more about the makeup and that's how I feel with this. So with that, let's just roll in and start putting all of this on my face and I'll kind of respond to this Harper's article and the products that they picked. Alrighty guys, so uh one second let me just pull up this article so we can chat and first off um i'm going to be using the jane iredale palm mist and also the plain jane beauty time to prime so what i basically do is this is actually a setting spray but i just use it as like I was gonna say like a toner, but it doesn't really have those kind of more skincare-like ingredients. This primer does, but this just gives me a really nice base, especially when I like don't wash my face and do skincare right before I put on makeup. So yeah, uh, this Plain Jane one is like super serum-y and just really nice. Let me pin my hair back. All right, so first, I was really happy to see in this Harper's article that they included Fit Glow's concealer. This has been a favorite concealer of mine for a long time. Their shade range is pretty darn good. They've expanded it through the years. And one thing I'll appreciate, I'll appreciate, I appreciate about Fit Glow is their expansion was quiet. It wasn't this huge like campaign where it's like, well, maybe you guys should have come out with like that many in the first place. Like they've just like, you know, released new shades as they've grown. Well, I'm gonna repin that because it looks really awful. But uh, they've released new shades as they've grown, which it's just really awesome and they have a really nice concealer range now like when they first launched I think they had five shades and now they have 15 plus which for a clean beauty line especially like it's pretty amazing so I like the wear of this I did have someone say that they're a little bit older and have more mature skin that's drier and they think this is too dry of a formulation so I can see that it definitely is not as like 
I don't want to say it's not as creamy, but it is a little bit drier and satin in finish. So some more like dry skin types may not like this as much. I personally really like it. Like I have more normal skin in my type. So yeah. And I have shade C1 in this, which I believe is still the lightest shade. So yeah. And I am just blending this out with a brush. Again, super happy to see this in this article because I've just seen so many of these articles and they basically only talk about like clean at Sephora or like clean at Target brands. And it's just nice to see like actual, you know, like small, not actual, but like smaller indie brands. Okay, and then two foundations that they brought up in this article were the Vapor Soft Focus Foundation and the Oat Milk Foundation by Ere Perez. So I like the formulation of this by Ere Perez. The only problem is, is the lightest shade just doesn't work quite for me. Uh, formulation, pretty decent. It's more light in coverage, but it has more of like a neutral tone to it like neutral, maybe yellow. Like I can get away with it if I blend it out, but I just don't really want to when I have the vapor one I can use. So this has been reformulated multiple times. And I will say overall, I do like the formulation of this. It is very, very uh, emollient feeling. So it just has a nice texture to it. And I have shade, again, I don't know if I said it, 100S. And I think it looks really nice on my skin. I wore this yesterday and I was noticing like, oh, I really do like that. The original formulation was like my all time favorite. This is a little bit oilier than that. So that's one thing about it is it is again, a bit oilier, but overall, I just think it has like a nice finish to it. It's like a medium full coverage. And I was happy again to see like these two like Ere Perez and Vapor, you know, because basically what we were seeing in other publications were not <laughs> these brands. So yeah, it's kind of like good journalism was done with Harper's. Like big kudos to them because I just felt like with the Allure Awards it was truly like they just went to like Target and Sephora and like took pictures of the brands there and then like made a survey based off of that. So yeah, glad to see it. Glad to see it. And I am going to just buff out everything just to make sure it's all blended. Okay, so they did not bring up any setting powder, so we're just gonna forego setting powder, which it should be fine. Uh, just gonna make sure that got blended under my eyes because one thing about both of these, like the Fit Glow, it is a little bit more dry and finished, so it doesn't really need a setting powder. Uh, and then the Vapor, I just think looks really nice on the skin. Like usually I'll set with a little something, but I have plenty of products to talk about, so I don't wanna whip anything else out. But they did bring up the Kiara Weiss blushes, which I was really happy to see them talk about Kiara Weiss because it's like the OG luxury beauty brand. So I have this little one in a sample size. I've had multiple full sizes though, but this is Blossoming, which is one of their best selling shades. So I'm just using my finger with this. These are really, really pretty. They feel really nice on the skin. I did like a master class and that's how I got this. They sent us like a little kit of the Kiara Weiss makeup for that master class and we got this blush in it. And this is really pretty. It's really, really pigmented. So I maybe got a little bit too much, got a little bit too slap happy. But again, I'm just happy to see like other brands that we all know and love as clean beauty lovers and these articles. So just using my stippling brush to blend this out, but just gives a nice rosy cheek. And these are so pretty, like the texture of them super smooth and soft, like they just melt into the skin, give a nice flush. I feel like their best product actually is this blush. So 
yeah, good things to say about it. So I'm actually gonna take a little bit and put it up on my forehead. I learned quite a bit of stuff in that masterclass that I did with Kira Weiss, like about makeup application. Okay, so that's all, just add a little, I'm gonna put it down here, like use the plush kind of as a contour, because no blood or no uh, bronzer was mentioned in this article, so yeah. Okay, and then they brought up, which this, I can, so excited when I see brands that are like, things that I like and are like well known in the clean beauty community. So they brought up in the Harper's article, the ritual defeat, the, uh, and I have this in the high priestess, the one that they had, cause they have all different shades of this is, so they have a different shade of this. I think maybe it's the same one on the website. They kind of look similar, but they just said in general, the highlights are good, which I agree. So my friend gave this to me and what I like about them is they're like duo chromes and they're really like, they don't make like a bold statement. They make a really slight statement kind of situation where it's like, it looks like it's just like a white or pink, like a white, maybe a little bit of pinky to it, but it has some purple tones and it's just super creamy and pretty. Okay, so I don't have the eyeshadow palette by Beauty Counter here, but I actually have swatched and played with this because my friend has it. And it is a very interesting color story, and the one that they selected is pretty, I'll say. It is. Beauty Counter's not one of my fave brands because of the MLM structure to it, but that palette is pretty. Like, no denying it. And maybe even I had it back in the day. I just can't remember if I purchased one of their eyeshadow palettes or not. I just can't remember. So I'll have a beauty counter video because I did try all their makeup. So I am going to try just using this on the eyelids because these are generally like multi-use products. So that's pretty, you know, just kind of like opened up the old peepers a little bit. Okay, and I was happy to see Eco Brow featured. So they featured their brow pencils. So I have this in shade Maryland, and this is one of the only in Clean Beauty like shaped brow pencils like this, where it's like the triangle, it's a little bit thicker. So my favorite is the plume one, but I like this. My favorite from Eco Brow is their clear brow gel. Like it's just a really nice brow gel. I have something like I got like a hair from the brush in my nose but this is just really really nice and this is a nice shade for blondes I'm just like drawing it it's pretty hard that's not the only thing about it but I also had this pencil for a while like just saying and brushing it out it just makes a nice like full bushy brow I need a little bit more up front in this brow Okay, and then they mentioned the Jane Iredale. This is their lash conditioner, so this is a primer. And this is like an okay one. I don't really enjoy using like lash primers on the rig, but because I have this, I was like, well, we'll use it together. Uh, it does really add quite a bit of volume to the lashes, so that's pretty cool. And aside from the Honest Beauty, like the thing about the Honest Beauty um, mascaras on one side, it has the mascara on the other, it has a primer. That's like one of the few mascara primers along with this one that I know of. So if you've always been like a huge primer, like lash primer stand or something, you probably like this. My mom actually really likes a nice lash primer. Maybe I'll get her this great you know for what it is it's a great product and then they mentioned two mascaras which i totally agree with them on so the ilia limitless lash mascara and this white tube and the say mascara so i like both of them the say one is really nice and volumizing the limitless lash is really nice and defining i'm going to use this because i've been using the say one quite a bit and I have been using Ilya's new volumizing one and I have really liked it. This is like the OG though. This makes for some nice lashes, like those two together. Like, pretty pleased. Just really nice. Like, it looks like I'm wearing falsies. Like, 
pretty pleased with that. Pretty pleased. Okay, and they brought up a couple of different lippies. So they mentioned the Kosas, which I will say, I have this in shade Royal. I've tried almost all the shades and it is a really good lipstick. Like overall, it is really nice. So this is a little bit more like a pinky shade. They're nice and creamy, have a nice pigment to them. So again, this is shade Royal. But they also mentioned the Kiri Grun Lip Whip. So I was happy to see this in there too. So I have this in rosy gold. I'm not going to use this over the Kosas just because I don't really think it needs it. Um, but yeah, I was happy to see the Lip Whip in there. I've really liked the Lip Whips. They've been like a very much a cult classic type product in the clean beauty realm. So yeah, uh, there were some things that I didn't have that I'll just give brief mention to. So I had the mascara, highlight, blush, Henry Perez. So I don't have these Wild with Desire lipsticks from RMS. Uh, I feel like every time there's any media done about clean beauty, RMS will be mentioned because it is one of the like first in Sephora clean beauty brands. They're not a favorite brand of mine. I don't like how they just use coconut oil and that's like their big marketing ingredient. And I don't really like some of the rhetoric, or not some, but the rhetoric that the founder uses. So yeah. And then I have had this in the past. It is the Coco Kind My Light Highlight Stick. Okay, this is pretty. My only problem with it is it's more of a gold tone instead of like an icy white tone highlight. And my skin, it, my skin tone is already like, it just, it needs something icier. Like it needs something just, you know, more white instead of gold. They also mentioned the Well People BioCorrect Multi Action Concealer. This was never a favorite of mine. I prefer the Figla one. I just think it's a better concealer. Concealer to me is supposed to like really cover and correct like problem regions and then like foundation supposed to even out total skin tone. And I just feel like it's a little bit too thin of a concealer. And then again, they brought up that eyeshadow palette from Beauty Counter. And is that it? Yeah. So there was only a couple things I didn't have. I was happy to see all of this um in there uh yeah let me know your thoughts let me know if you like any of this makeup because this is all stuff that I do like like maybe it's not my top fave but it's like oh I can see where someone really likes that again I feel like there was like good journalism done like where they use the products and stuff and like it wasn't just like a random list of like well-known brand names so yeah uh my hair kind of looks crazy, so I'll try and do something with it just as we do our outro. But I have been doing a video a day for Ragmus. I, my dogs are doing so good. Okay, they've calmed down. But I have been doing a video a day for Ragmus. So this is eight, tomorrow will be nine. So subscribe so you know when videos go up. Uh, it's been fun doing these. It's been fun like discovering like articles that I can react to. I've been testing out so much makeup so I can do like full reviews of like all my blushes that I own and stuff like that. So it's been a lot, uh, but it's been fun. And it's been cool to like, this sounds corny, but connect with my makeup. So yeah, guys, I will see you back here tomorrow and have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.